He does not like being held. Hello, fellow Homo sapiens. This is David Seymour, and I'm your host for Lifers. Welcome back. If you're new to the show, um, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any any new content. Basically, what I do on the show is I look for all kinds of species that I can find. Uh, anything from tardigrades all the way up to blue whales and everything in between. And I have these big long lists of thousands and almost millions of species that I'm trying to find. And I just like to see, I just want to see how many species I can find in my lifetime starting in this show. So if you like it, if you like the show and you want to keep seeing new content, subscribe and hit the bell. All right, let's go. This is Song Sparrow. Love. Now, I normally don't try to catch wildlife unless I have to, to show you guys. And these guys are extremely quick. Now this might be, this is either a seal salamander or a northern dusky. And uh, they're kind of hard to tell it apart. So I just wanted to get a couple images. I think he's a northern dusky. He might be a seal salamander. I'll make, I'll double check. But um, here he is. Was our fifth salamander, I think. Let's not let him get away here. Don't want to hurt him. I just want to get some good shots of him, so we can ID him. Sometimes these salamanders can be tricky with identification. They usually start coming down after a while. Once you once they realize you mean them no harm, they usually settle down. So we'll uh, check them off. Beautiful. Free to live out his life in the wild, where he belongs. Just as I found that guy, I found a bigger one. Oh, he does not like being held. I think this is a Northern Dusky, which means the other one probably is too, just a younger one. Just so you can get a, uh, an idea of how big they are. i get an image of them. couple of them. I don't want them to get away though. There he is. I believe he's the Northern Dusky. Look at that spider. I hear some birds around me now, so I'm gonna let him go. And we're gonna try and get that bird. Okay. Okay. Let's let him go. What do you think, guys? Raccoon? 
All right, guys, I'm looking for a long tail salamander now. Now that we found that dusky, the next salamander on my list is a long tail. And they usually live along the side of fast moving rivers like this. At least that's where I found them. And there's a piece of trash. An old football. Doesn't need to be here. We'll take it with us. All right, guys, I found another red back, but I just want to show you how much variation these guys have. Again, this guy is like pepper. That's not sand on him. I mean, there is sand, but notice the white, white spot, the specks. There's so much variation within the species. I might call this a salt and pepper one. The salt and pepper morph or uh, phase. There's so much variation. I mean, who doesn't like salamanders? I've never met a single person that doesn't like salamanders. You might be out there, but I've, I've, I haven't met you yet. All right, I'll let him go and continue on. I'll figure out what that is. Here's another salamander. What do you guys think? lay down for this sometimes. Oh, I found this beetle too, look. I don't want him to get away. Look at that. I've never seen this guy before. I just absolutely love beetles. How can you not? Well, I'm pretty sure we can get a species idea of this guy. There's a lot of experts out there. Today's turned out to be an awesome day. All right, let's try getting one of these ants again. Here's my philosophy of the day. The whole purpose of my show is to celebrate biodiversity. I've accumulated uh, a lot of knowledge over the course of my lifetime about wildlife. And I'm, I'm by no means an expert in anything, but I have a pretty good knowledge base. And I think that knowledge base has enlightened me to how awesome biodiversity is on planet Earth. Every species is special. Every insect, every plant, every fungi, any, every animal, not just insects, all of life is fascinating. And as far as we can tell, this is the only place in the universe that has life. And humans are gonna be here for a long time. We might be on this planet for millions of years. We might evolve and transition to, into other species. And I feel like we need to be better stewards of this planet. We need to have more respect for the life that's here. And I even propose that half of all land on earth, half of all environments should be dedicated to wilderness. We're, we are resourceful, we are talented, and I believe that we can make that happen. Even with 10 billion people on earth, 
But we have to be smart. We have to respect nature and we have to love it enough to want to protect it. Places like Borneo where the last strongholds of orangutans are left could become extinct in our lifetime in the wild. And how can we let that happen? How can we let these beautiful environments disappear when they don't have to? We're smart enough to come up with a better solution to this problem. And I think there's enough of us out there that care. Even people who don't care that much probably still care a little bit about the environment. And it's not really a political thing. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican or or anything. There's Beatles, sorry. Uh, it shouldn't matter when it comes to protecting the environment. It, should, it absolutely should not matter what political affiliation you belong to. When it comes to protecting the environment, when it comes to wanting to preserve species and prevent their extinction, that should be a 100% unanimous agreement that that should not be happening. That's my philosophy of the day. All right, guys. After my little spiel there, I found this beetle that just landed. I'm gonna try and get an image of him. It's a netwing. I'm gonna catch it. It's a netwing. I believe. There he is. There he goes. Maybe we'll get an idea of him, who knows. I need to be able to uh, have both cameras on hand, so I'm sticking this football in my bag. Do what you gotta do, right? So while I'm sitting here waiting for this wire thrush to come back, I figured I'd attempt to uh, get some good images of this moss here and maybe identify it. I know this is true moss. I'm, I'm learning a lot from this show. Just as much as I hope you guys are. And I'm getting inspired just as much as I hope you guys are. Even moss is like interesting. You think moss is boring, but if you actually look at it, it's, it's quite a beautiful plant. And there's such variation in moss. There's a butterfly over there. I believe that is a... Some kind of comma? Like Eastern comma or something? There he is. Alright guys, that does it for this episode. What's on your list?